hey y'all i'm kenzie ray welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video i will be showing you guys how i did this really easy silk press at home in only a few steps so if you guys are interested please just keep on watching So the first step that I'll be doing is applying some heat protectant spray and the spray that I'm using is by Fantasia and I just picked this up from my beauty supply store and I just made sure to spray it nice and evenly all over my hair but you don't want to spray too much because you don't want it to weigh your hair down. So now I'm just taking my hair and putting it into four different sections and I like to section my hair off because it makes it a lot easier to work with instead of just trying to work on your whole head. So I'm going to be working on this back section of my hair first and the product that I'll be using is this BioSilk Silk Therapy and this was my first time using this product and I will say I'm definitely in love with it. I really struggle with frizziness whenever I straighten my hair and this product definitely helped me out. So yeah, I only applied like a pea sized amount because I didn't want it to weigh my hair down. But even with that small amount, it definitely helped my hair get smoother and just less frizzier overall. So I definitely recommend this product and this is not sponsored by the way. <laughs> So now I just split that back section in half and I just took my blow dryer with the comb attached and I'm blow drying this little section of hair and I'm making sure to blow dry it from root to end. This is going to help with the straightening process. As you guys can see, it is already halfway there. And now I'm just taking another small amount of that bio silk therapy and I'm just focusing that on the ends of my hair because, because that's usually where my hair is the most frizzy at the ends. So I put a little bit more of that on. Now I'm taking this electric hot comb that I got from the beauty supply store and I'm using this to straighten out the roots of my hair. I think the hot comb and the blow dryer with the comb attached is definitely like the key things that you need to get a nice silk press at home just to make sure your hair is as straight as possible. As you guys can see my hair is nice and flowy which is what we are looking for. So now I'm just pinning that piece back and I'm gonna be moving on to the next section of my hair and I'll pretty much be doing the same steps. So now I'm moving on to this front section of my hair and I'll just be showing you guys kind of how I trim my hair at home. Now this is not a tutorial because I am definitely not a professional with cutting hair. But basically I just blow dried it, took the hot comb, straightened it and I just ran my fingers down to the bottom. And I'm not necessarily cutting my hair at an angle. I just flipped my hand up like this just so I can see it a little better but it is a straight cut. So I'm pretty much just kind of dusting off my ends. Um, like I said, my hair gets really frizzy at the ends of my hair. So I'm just kind of dusting it off, making sure it's not looking too raggedy. So I just wanted to cut a little bit of that off. My hair is cut in a bob cut, so it made it a little easier for me to be able to trim it. So now this is my hair after I'm all done with blow drying and trimming it. Now I'm ready to go ahead and move on to the straightening process. So again, I'll be separating my hair into four different sections. So I'm doing my little back section first and the flat iron that I'm using is the Duval titanium straightening iron and you can find this on their website which i will have linked below but i definitely love this flat iron i feel like a good flat iron is key to a nice silk press and i only had to go over my hair a couple times in order to get it straight so whenever i straighten my hair i like to do the chase method um, I kind of get my roots a little bit and then I take my comb and I just chase the flat iron with it and this definitely helps get my hair nice and straight. So 
so this is how that back section is looking like I said um, I pretty much just do the chase method with my flat iron it's really easy really simple I'm gonna go ahead and do that same method again in this front section I just like to get the roots of my hair a little bit and then I take my comb and I do the chasing method which is where you run the comb through and then you immediately follow up with the flat iron y'all please don't mind all the smoke like I said I put that silk therapy on my hair and I also have heat protectant and um I have my flat iron set on 400 and my hair can withhold heat pretty well so don't come for me because I know how y'all girls like to tussle okay <laughs> So this is how my hair is looking right after straightening it. As you can see, it is nice and flowy, stiff wear, okay? <laughs> and if you are interested in this flat iron, I will have the link below. Also, I'll have a discount code so that you guys can get some money off of your order. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of bump my hair a little bit just to add a little bit of body. So I'm just taking my flat iron and I'm going to curl a few pieces and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hair for a little while just so that it can set. So after unwrapping my hair, I just styled it using the Edge Booster Edge Control. And y'all, look how good my hair turned out. I think this is my best silk press yet that I've done on myself. Um, I went ahead and went with a side part. As you can see, the hair has movement. It has the body. It's nice and straight. Y'all, I'm in love. I definitely recommend all of the products and everything that I used in this video. Like I said, this is my best silk press yet. So if y'all did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a like, also comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!